All right, so I'm going to be reading from Psalms 127, 3 through 5, out of the New Living Translation. It says, Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. Children born to a young man are like arrows in a warrior's hands. How joyful is the man whose quiver is full of them. And then there is a charge to the church, so will all of the church family please stand? There is one other influence represented here today. Hang on, hang on, hang on. If you in the church, stand. (laughs) I'm not sure. I'm not real clear what's going on right now, but... Good, I hope this means that the vlog is coming back soon. Don't point vlog. Check us out. Ready? Tell me when. Go. Hold on, what's today's date? The first. So we're here, it's August 1st. Today we're gonna be registering our baby to Jesus. Uh, It's gonna be phenomenal, it's gonna be on point. She's gonna look cute. Stay tuned for what's to come. Are we doing the vlog again? Yeah. Make sure you put that in there. I will. How you feeling? I'm excited, man. Registering Nirvana. Dedicating her to the Lord. She's excited, if you can see. Doing it with her friends, Judah, AJ. It's gonna be a good day. I'm excited that we're in a place that has a community around us that can help guide her up. She grows up and is around other people that can help lead her in the right way. It's just, it's gonna be great. Are you excited your daughter getting dedicated today, sir? Well, for one, she thinks she's running the show. She, <laughs> she feel like she's running the whole house. I'm about to put her and her mama out. I'm about to put them both out. No, I'm just kidding. But no, it's a, it's a blessing. Uh, it's, she is a manifestation of the blessing. She's awesome. Uh, she's one of the reasons why I keep going. I'm excited. Are you recording? Yeah. I'm excited. I mean, gosh, what great day than today. She's going to be dedicated to the Lord. And I know that she's going to serve God with all of her might and all of her strength. Because I'm her mom, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. Today's the day. Today's the day where I dedicate my son to the Lord. I'm excited for this day. I'm a little nervous because uh, my family's here. I'm excited. I'm ready to dedicate my child to the Lord. That, and that's not your child, right? It's not. Okay. Right and I'm excited that my family's here and my Stone Point family, of course, so everyone is ready. Teach me how to love like you. Love like you. Love like you. Because I want to know how to love you. You excited for service today? What are you expecting? Oh, you, oh Lord. You can't come to Stone Point without expecting. We're up and ready. Service is on. That's why we are going to play. How many people does it take to change the ceiling tile? Three right now. You are kidding. Oh, from the back. Hi, SEC. Um, I'm expecting to get some answers, and I'm expecting for God to move and the Holy Spirit to tell me exactly what I need to do. Oh man, you look good, man. What you expecting today? Tell me what you expecting. It's not a photo, it's a video. Oh, I'm, I'm expecting a lot. When, when I, every time I come into the building, I know that God's going to do whatever He de- does and give me everything I need for the rest of the week. Teach me how to love like you. Love like you. Love like you. Because I want to know how to love you. So happy to be in God's house. Are we ready to praise and worship our Father?
We've got a, uh, a little surprise special thing we're going to do this morning. Um, it started out with one request and then it grew and grew and grew. <laughs> and then we added uh, someone just about 10 minutes ago. Praise so, God. <laughs> we are going to have a baby dedication this morning. <laughs> one of the signs of a growing church at a healthy church there's a bunch of babies <laughs> some some of our congregation has taken it as a personal responsibility <laughs> to populate this church <laughs> and for that i'm eternally grateful <laughs> if we could have all the parents come up with their children All right, so I'm going to be reading from Psalms 127, 3 through 5, out of the New Living Translation. It says, Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. Children born to a young man are like arrows in a warrior's hands. How joyful is the man whose quiver is full of them. It is our wonderful privilege today to participate in this public dedication. Uh, the scriptures say, Train up a child in the way that they should go when they are old. They will not depart from it. It also says, bring them up in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. It also says, these commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts and press them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home, when you walk along the road, when you lie down, and when you get up. As you engage in this task with joy and peace, may you earnestly seek the Lord daily for his wisdom for all. May you also daily give thanks to God for your child and for the joy and love that they bring. And as they grow, may you earnestly strive to spend adequate time with them, developing them in a strong moral foundation for life and an awareness of the Lordship of Jesus Christ and his abiding presence. If there are any extended family here or godparents here, would you please stand for just a moment? Any extended family? Y'all don't know if y'all related to some of these folks? <laughs> And then there is a charge to the church, so will all of the church family please stand? There is one other influence represented here today. Hang on, hang on, hang on. If you in the church, stand. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not real clear what's going on right now. but. <laughs> Which shall inspire them to desire the Christian way of life. And then all of those that are standing will say, I will. Do you accept this responsibility? I will. Say it one more time. Do you accept this responsibility? <laughs> there we go. I don't know why y'all don't want to participate with us right now. We love y'all. We just having fun. Father God, we thank you for each and every one of these children that have been brought up here, Father. We thank you that as we uh, commit their lives and their purposes unto you, Father, we acknowledge that it is only you that we serve, Father. And that we are endeavoring to be honorable towards you and raise our children in light of all that you wish to do in their lives, Father. And Father, we thank you that in the season and time that we are in, your word says that your spirit shall be poured out upon all flesh and the sons and daughters shall prophesy. Father, I thank you that nobody steals their crayons, Father, that even from young ages that they are able to dream and to believe and to trust and to know and to, and to operate in the things that you have for them, Father. Let them be unusual and peculiar as they go on to school and as they go on into the world, Father, that even at young ages, people will look at them and see your wisdom upon them and see your understanding in them and see and know that if they even needed healing, they can come to a two, three-year-old and they can lay hands on a sick and they shall recover father we thank you that they know who they are and whose they are and so as we dedicate them unto you father god we we know that everything that you have for us is greater than we could ever see or understand and that your anointing can work in them just as much as it can work in us and so we thank you for it right now in jesus name and all believers in the house said amen, amen. that you can have a Bible and not make you a Christian. 
you know, you, you could technically uh, sleep in your garage and smoke like a chimney. That don't make you a, a diesel truck. Are you, are you understand what I'm saying? See, people think just because you have a Bible that you are a victorious Christian. Now, you can be saved because there's people that say things like, well, you know, I don't have to go to church to be saved. Well, you're right. You don't have to go home to be married. But you ain't going to be married. I, I want you to understand that. And, and so the, the thing about Stone Point and, and the reason why God gave me this particular scripture uh, as our foundation and the name Stone Point is because when it's built upon the chief cornerstone, Stone Point, then there are certain things that belong to you. It's one, and, and, and I want you to understand there were seven churches of Asia Minor. All seven churches had different responsibilities. This is why you have to be very careful uh, judging other churches or what other churches are called to do. In other words, you know, you can't, uh, how do I say this? You want to be careful what feeds you. I'll say it that way. Because what feeds you has to be consistent with where God puts you. Because the assignments are different. And so this is why if you're not careful, you'll sit here and watch Christian television and you'll see five different doctrines and wonder why your spirit's confused. You'll see some doctrines saying God can't heal. You'll see some that says God is a healer. You'll see some that says send me $29.99 and I'll send you some soap from the bottom of the Red Sea. I mean, you know, just different things that people come up with. And the problem is that if you are not careful... Your, your spirit becomes confused because you're eating from too many different places. Just like in the natural, when you eat from too many different places, you can get a flow you just didn't want. Come on. I'm one of those people, I, I like a little bit of spice, but don't, you know, don't. It ain't supposed to burn going in and coming out. It's just, it's just too much. You know what I'm saying? Some people, they make their food. You're like, was you mad when you made this? It's ungodly hot. <laughs> so, and, and, and so you're getting my point, right? So then when you have the foundation of the apostles and you begin to understand that Jesus is the cornerstone and he's talking about the covenants and the promises. So the very foundation of what Stone Point is built upon is not just to tell you you're saved but to teach you how to operate in those covenants and promises so that you can experience all that God has for you here. Some people are like, well, when I get to the by and by, I can be healed. Well, listen, if that's all you would like to do, uh, knock yourself out. But the Bible says we can be healed here. That's why it says covenants and promises. And so we spend majority of our time I love running and shouting. I'm, I'm all about those, you know, drop, you know, uh, drag out meetings that, you know, people stacked up like cordwood. I, I, I like those as well. But the reality is that we are called to make sure that people understand that in all of their getting, they will get understanding. Because as they get understanding, you can walk in what you understand. It's, it's one thing to preach some stuff and say, oh, that's great. And everybody gets to running and shouting and hooping and hollering. And they go out the door and get their brains kicked in by Satan. I need all these people to understand how to go out there and deal with the enemy that they fight on a daily basis. I don't know about you. Y'all might not have no problems and struggles. But I'm telling you what. Every time I turn around, Satan's trying to do something stupid that I'm unwilling to allow him to have. And so when you understand who you are and what is involved in the covenants and the promises, the things that belong to you, you start walking in victory. So now you're not afraid like the rest of the world. When all hell is breaking loose with everybody else, you're standing on a sure foundation. That's the stone point. That's the chief cornerstone. You understand what Jesus bought for you. You understand what he did for you. And you know how to apply it in your life. So that we all walk in victory. That's right. And that's what makes us different. That's right. That's the assignment we were given. It was great. It was a great word. We're excited. It finally happened. She's good. Register to the Lord. Amen, brother. <laughs>
you.